Tell me. Is that? All right, go ahead. Then Peter turned around. Peter! Here it is now. He had told uh, John that he was going to uh, do certain things before he would die and so on. And then Peter, uh, turning around, said, what? Disciple. All right, and he saw the disciples whom Jesus loved. Whom Jesus loved. And, and he, what did he say? Then Peter, now notice what Peter said. He said, what? Also had leaned on his breast at the Look, supper. He's talking about John who had leaned on his breast at the supper. He said, Lord. He said, Lord. Who is the one? Who is the one? That betrays you. That betrayed you. But just a moment. In King James Version, it says, Lord, and what shall this man do? <laughs> you told me about myself. Right. <laughs> you told me that I am going to live to get to be an old man and somebody's going to have to carry me and so on. And, and then, of course, he was just nosy. He looked around and he saw John. <laughs> and a lot of them were jealous of John, you know. He said, Lord, and what shall this man do? Yeah. yeah. I have used this very subject in commissioning exercises, telling students yeah. uh, to have the attitude of Jesus, not of Peter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and now, Jesus can tell you what the man can do and will do. That's right. That's right. Uh, but man cannot. That's right. Now, I know we have these people calling themselves psychics. <laughs> they can read your. I, did you read your horoscope today in the right? <laughs> Somebody always gotcha. walking around asking, what's your sign? <laughs> <laughs> My sign is the cross. All right. <laughs> <laughs> friend of mine told me about going uh, by uh, one of the, these little shops of a uh, person who said she was a seer. She was a psychic. And... Uh, and had a found the sign, knows all. Knows all. My Lord. And so my friend said, he just went in there just to see what she would say. He, uh, he said, you know all? She said, I know all. He said, well, tell me about myself. Okay, open your hand. She looked at, at the palm of his hand, and she told him all of the good things that she thought he would want to hear. And when he, she finished, she said, that's what I see, and that's what you will do in life now. Now she said, and that will be one hundred thousand. The man said, Do you really know all? Do you know all? She said, I know all. I know all. He said, We ought to know. I'm not going to give you. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to give you a penny. <laughs> <laughs> These crooks. <laughs> so tell you how you can get rich. Yeah. And while they're telling you that they're getting rich on you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> so so here go Peter knows it. He said, Lord, you told me my fortune, so to speak. Yeah. You told me that. And what shall this man do? Well, and what did Jesus say? Jesus said to him. Jesus said unto him. If I desire that he stay until I come. If I desire that he lives until I come back. What is that to you? In other words, <laughs> in other words, Peter gets you some business. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been around those people? Uh huh. Mercy. You know all your business. Everything. Tell them something. You may say, well, I've had surgery. Right on what? <laughs> That's not your business. <laughs> Jesus, I can get Peter straight now. He yeah. said, if I will that he lives until I get back, what is that to you? Right. right. Amen. Right. So that teaches us all to mind our business. All right. <laughs> You know, in First Thessalonians 4, 11, the Bible says, and that you set it to be quiet and mind your own business. All right. I'm coming on to something else about salvation, but I need to, to, to just get you uh, ready.
for an example of a man who really wanted to be saved and asked essentially the same question. And we'll see how it was answered by the apostles. But he said, if it is my will to uh, let him live until I come back, what is there to you? And then he told him to do what? You follow me. You just follow me. In other words, do what I have told you to do. Don't worry about somebody else's business. And when we come into the Bible, we find that the Bible says, as for God, his way is perfect. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. The word of the Lord is tried. Whatever God says and however he does it, that's God's way All right. of doing it. Book says every word of God is pure. Amen. Thank God, because we have trials and tribulations in our lives, and we ask God to come in. I'm sure many of us in here have prayed to God to save us, mm -hmm. save us from this whatever I'm having. I don't understand what's going on in my body, or in my head, or in my feet. I, I don't understand. Help! Like the writer said, I've had tears and I've had sorrows. Yes. And I have the thoughts and questions about tomorrow. And many times I didn't even know which uh, way I was going. But when in every situation, God has given blessed consolation. Yes. And my tears have come and trials have come, rather, to make me strong. So I thank him. This is what he says in the song. I thank him for the mountains. Yes. And I thank him for the valleys he's brought me through. Yeah. For if I had never had a problem, yes, sir. I wouldn't know that God could fix it. Amen. I wouldn't know what faith in God could do. Amen. Then he says, through it all. Yeah. Through it all. I don't care what it is. Through it all. I've learned. Let me stop right there just a moment because I'm glad in the church of Christ we are not ashamed anymore to sing I have learned certain things. We used to fight certain things that were scriptural mm -hmm. but we just thought we had to fight. Mm -hmm. But you know you learn as you stand yes, sir. and as you live in Christ and, and uh, we even sing the song leaning uh, learning to lean. Learning to lean. Do you say that here too? Amen. Learning to mm -hmm. lean. Uh, that's just right there. You have to learn to lean on Christ. Yes, sir. 